Tangle Outdoor Energy Boots Gazette. The man at the wheel is Fish Wildlife and Parks Jet Boat, Ms. Earl Radonsky. Earl, fisheries biologist Mike Ruggles, and I were on the Yellowstone River between Laurel and the Duck Creek Bridge as part of a study of Ling. Now, the formal name for Ling is Burbot, but for, to local anglers, uh, they're called Ling. Two days ago, Earl and Mike set out hoop nets to try and trap Ling to put tags on. As we run this stretch of the Yellowstone River, what we're looking for is a large orange bobber. That bobber marks where the traps were set. We're approaching one here, and as we get ready to come up to it, Mike Ruggles will get ready with a hook so that he can hook the rope that's attached to a heavy sinker, which is attached to the hoop net. Now all this gear is pretty heavy. Uh, as you can see, it's going to take Mike more than a little bit of muscle to get it coming in. And then some more muscle. There's a heavy steel sinker down there that's holding this down on the bottom and holding that trap net in place. The first job they have to do is get that sinker up. Once the sinker's on the boat, then Earl grabs the rope that's attached to the net. Now these nets have an opening at the bottom end so that fish can get into them. And sometimes you catch quite a few. One of the things about this stretch of the river is there are a lot of different species. Here, Earl is working up some stone cats, one of the many species on the river. What he's doing is getting a length on the fish and then getting a weight. Mike off screen is actually recording all the data. Lengths and weights of the ling are being recorded as well. Inches down to the tenth of an inch, and the weights down to a hundredth of a pound. Now once they're done recording that, they'll fit these fish with tags. These are called dangle tags, and they'll stay in the, in the fish so that when anglers can catch them, they can identify them. Well, what color? What pattern? What color? They look good. They all are different, Mom. Yeah. Like fingerprints. <laughs> well, I'm looking and some are brown and some are green. Yeah. Yellow. We've got all sorts of different colors on here. So, what are we doing out here today? We're on the Yellowstone River between Laurel and, and Duck Creek Bridge. Yep, and we're looking at uh, kind of a quick, quick peek at how the ling are doing, what numbers we might catch in the trap. You know, just to kind of get an idea of where we're headed with our ling population. Now, historically, there was a lot of ling fishing that went on around here, and people caught a lot of ling. That's my understanding, and we, in my short time here, I've gotten several phone calls talking about you just don't see the ling that we used to. We're not catching as many. They're not in the same spots, and so that's where we're coming out and starting to take a look. Now, you, you've been putting uh, dangle tags on these fish, uh, yellow tags on wires. Um, what if a fisherman happens to catch one of these fish? Yep. If an angler happens to catch one of those, they can call our office, they can write a letter, they can go to the web page, and there's a place where they can just send in an email and say, you know, it was a yellow tag, it had Billings region on one side, and it had a number. You know, and so then they can say what that number is. It'd be also nice to know approximately the area that they caught the fish in. You know, it's good enough to say it's between Laurel and Duck Creek Bridge. You know, it's nicer if we can get the exact spot. Um, also, a length and a weight would be very nice. Uh, we've seen ling of, of quite a few different sizes today. Uh, how, how small were the smallest approximately, and how big was that big one we got? Uh, just uh, over a foot was our smallest one, and uh, just over a couple feet was our biggest one. And so, yeah, some pretty good size. We're probably looking at at least three, maybe four different year classes out of what we had today. So that's one of the things that our survey I was hoping would tell us that we have you know old fish and we have young fish. 
so at least you have some recruitment and you have some adults up there. Now, mostly we were having our best luck in, in the deeper holes. Is, is that pretty typical? Is that, you know, for, for a ling fisherman, is that where they should be looking? That's fairly typical, although a lot of ling fishing occurs at night, and those fish will move up in the shallower waters at night. You know, we're setting our traps and expecting that those fish are moving in, you know, night or day. And uh, particularly in daytime, it seems like they go into the deeper holes. And they were nicely colored fish, uh, some really pretty ones. Yeah. Uh, and they're a Montana native species? Montana native species. Each one has a little bit different coloration patterns. We saw some with some very large black spots on and then the stripes. And, you know, the different coloration. It's almost like a fingerprint. Appreciate now, if anybody it. wants to learn more about Ling, they can go to Fish, Wildlife, and Parks website. That's correct. And there'll be a place on there where they can look at what the different species are in Montana, kind of the range that they're in. They are a native to the Yellowstone and Missouri River systems here. Montana and definitely a cold water fish. We talked earlier too that you know, well, why don't we catch them in the summertime? Well, that's when they're least active, unlike most of our other warm water fish. Yeah, you were telling me that uh, most fish, like trout, they put on their growth during the summertime. That's that's when they get their growth ring on their scales, and and, and then in winter uh, they don't do so much. You said ling are just the opposite. Ling are just the opposite. Their best feeding and growing time is in the winter. They spawn in the middle of winter and they come off of that and they're eating heavy and that's typically the time when anglers start to catch them. Black spot on that side. Wow, that is By the end of the afternoon, we caught nine ling in the traps, which isn't too bad. All of them were fitted with tags and all of them should be swimming the stretch of river somewhere between Duck Creek and Laurel. This is Mark Henkel, Outdoors Editor for the Billings Gazette, reporting from the Yellowstone River.